GitPod is a one-click online IDE for GitHub and other code hosting platforms. Simply go to any project, pull request or issue and instantly start an IDE with a cloud-based development workspace from there. You can either simply prefix the URL with gitpod.io hash or use a free browser extension that adds a button which does the prefixing for you. Let's start a workspace for this particular GitHub issue. Gitpod is powered by the new open source IDE Thea. Thea is a joint effort between Ericsson, Red Hat and Typefox, the team behind Gitpod. Every workspace gets its own Linux machine, configured with exactly the development tools you need for the project. Here we are using the Next.js web application framework. It does server-side rendering of React components, so we need to start a dev server to see the current state of our Hello World application. Let's change the color and the font size of the message. The code editor is based on VS Code and the popular language server protocol with already over 60 supported programming languages. So you get all the important editing features like content assist, code navigation, refactorings and many more. Now that we made the necessary changes, it's time to create a pull request. As we are in a GitHub issue context, Gitpod already created a local branch and pre-configured the commit message. After we've pushed our branch, we can create the pull request, again right from within the IDE. I ask my friend Anton for a code review. When he now clicks a button on the GitHub pull request page, Gitpod will beam him right into code review mode. So the list of changes is shown on the left and the first entry is already opened in the diff editor. As part of his review, he can use all the IDE features and even run and modify the code. Commenting is done right in the editors and submitting the review is supported too. Of course, all the review information is automatically synced with GitHub, as you would expect. Please try it out and let us know what you think. Thanks for listening.